Silence is like a secret treasure that often gets buried beneath the noisy words and actions we use in our daily lives. We're constantly chatting, texting, and posting on social media, filling our days with endless chatter. But Buddhism, an ancient wisdom, reminds us that there are times when silence can be like pure gold, something really special and transformative. This journey through Buddhist teachings is like a cool adventure, and we're going to explore why staying silent can be super important in five special situations. These teachings can help us become more mindful, peaceful, and purposeful in our lives. So, let's take a closer look at these ancient ideas and find ways to solve problems using the power of silence. Silence isn't just the absence of noise, it's a super deep state of being. Imagine it's like finding a quiet spot in a loud and noisy world. A famous Vietnamese Zen master named Thich Nhat Hanh once said that silence is as important as air, like how we need air to breathe and how plants need light to grow. See, our minds are often busy with all sorts of thoughts and words, leaving no room for that precious silence. But Buddhism recognizes the value of this quiet space, and it encourages us to create it in different parts of our lives. Silence can open up doors to inner peace, mindfulness, and self-awareness. It's like giving ourselves a chance to not only hear the world around us, but also to listen to what our hearts and minds are whispering. Silence can be a powerful tool that changes the way we interact with the world and handle the challenges life throws our way. As we take this journey through the five situations where silence is recommended in Buddhism, remember that being silent doesn't mean being passive or not caring. It's all about being in the moment, paying attention, and being purposeful. So, let's explore these situations and find out why they are so important. 1. Silence in the face of anger. When you're super angry, staying silent might sound a bit tricky. But guess what? Buddhism says that being silent when you're mad is a smart move. Anger is a strong emotion, and it can make us say and do things we later regret. Buddhism tells us that anger usually comes from being too attached to our desires or having strong aversions to something. When we can't see that things change and everything is connected, anger can take over. Being silent when we're angry is like a shield that protects us and others from saying hurtful stuff. It helps us step back and think about why we're so mad. It's like hitting the pause button in a movie to figure out what's happening. By being silent, we can take deep breaths and think about what's causing our anger. It's a bit like being a detective and trying to figure out the mystery of our own emotions. In Buddhism, there's a cool story about two arrows. The first arrow is the pain we feel when something bad happens. The second arrow is the pain we shoot ourselves with when we react to the first arrow with anger. Silence helps us avoid shooting that second arrow, so we suffer less. Silence is like a superpower in these moments. It helps us keep our cool and understand where our anger is coming from. It's all about being aware and not letting anger make us say or do things we'll later regret. 2. Silence in the face of gossip and slander. Have you ever heard someone spreading rumors about others or saying mean things behind their backs? Buddhism tells us to be silent when we hear gossip and slander. These are like poisonous arrows that can hurt not only the person being talked about, but also the person saying those mean things. Buddhism is all about right speech, which means speaking kindly, truthfully, and helpfully. Gossip and slander don't fit in with that idea because they spread negativity and can damage relationships and trust. When we choose to be silent instead of joining in with gossip, we avoid causing harm to others, and we also protect our own karma. That's like the energy of our actions, which affects our future. Our silence can make the people talking negatively think twice about their words, and maybe even stop. Silence in the face of gossip and slander is like a superpower that stops the spread of hurtful words. It shows that we're not okay with that kind of talk and it encourages others to think before they speak mean things. 3. Silence in the midst of conflict. 
Conflicts, like arguments and disagreements, can happen to anyone. But how we deal with them makes a big difference. Buddhism tells us to choose silence in the middle of a conflict because it's a chance to be mindful, compassionate, and understanding. Conflicts usually start because people have different opinions or values. These differences can lead to arguments and hurtful words. But being silent in a conflict is like pressing the pause button. It gives everyone time to cool off and think things through. Silence isn't about ignoring your feelings. It's about creating a space where you can listen, show empathy, and find common ground. When we stay silent in a conflict, we listen better and we're not just focused on our own feelings. This can make it easier to resolve the conflict and avoid making it worse. Silence is beneficial in conflicts. It helps us be more balanced and fair, and it stops the cycle of negativity from getting out of control. When we choose silence, we prioritize understanding and working together instead of trying to win the argument. 4. Silence when witnessing the suffering of others. Buddhism is all about compassion, which means caring about others and wanting to ease their suffering. When we see someone else suffering, our first instinct might be to say something comforting or offer advice. But Buddhism teaches us that sometimes silence is the most compassionate response. Being silent when we witness someone's suffering is like saying, I'm here for you and I'm ready to listen. It shows that we care and that we're willing to share their pain. Sometimes words can't really express the depth of our compassion, but silence can. When someone is suffering, silence gives them the space to express their feelings and experiences at their own pace. It's like offering them a safe and non judgmental space where they can find comfort and support. Silence lets them be heard without any pressure. Silence in these moments is like an extraordinary power, showing our respect for the other person's ability to navigate their pain. It's like saying, I trust you to deal with your suffering in your way. It's a way of being there for someone without overwhelming them with words. 5. Silence in times of our own suffering. We all go through tough times when we're hurting, and it's essential to take care of ourselves during those moments. Buddhism tells us that being silent when we're suffering can be a way to practice self-compassion and self-care. Silence when we're going through our pain is like giving ourselves a break. It's a space where we can acknowledge our hurt without being hard on ourselves. We can offer ourselves the same kindness and empathy we would give to a friend in pain. Silence is like a quiet place where we can think about our feelings, thoughts, and experiences. It's a way to heal and grow. When we're silent, we don't have to put on a brave face or explain our pain to others. It's a chance to connect with our inner strength and wisdom. In these moments, silence is like an extraordinary power that helps us find peace and understanding within ourselves. It's a practice of self-compassion, self-care, and self-discovery. We learn to be with our suffering, accept it, and use it as a source of growth and insight. So remember, silence is like a hidden treasure in these five crucial situations. It's a way to be more mindful, compassionate, and purposeful in life. It's not about being passive. It's about being present, thoughtful, and powerful. By embracing these teachings, we can find solutions to life's problems, connect with our inner peace, and maybe even get a glimpse of enlightenment. Silence is like a gift we can give to ourselves and to the world and it's something we should always keep in our hearts. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you found it inspiring and informative. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications so you won't miss our next video.